What is going on guys? Devious Marine 38 here for you guys another video and today I have an awesome video showing you guys how you can actually play your PS4 from either a Mac Laptop, Mac desktop, PC laptop, PC desktop. Now to do this, your PC or Mac is gonna have to require the certain specs and all the stuff to do it, which I will get, obviously leave the link to this in the description below where you guys can go read all about this and read all the uh, like requirements and system um, requirements you have to have. But anyway, I wanna get into this video and tell you guys how you guys can play your PS4 on your Mac or PC. So as I said, I'm gonna link this in the description. Basically what you guys wanna do is go to this link right here, and depending on what you guys have, either if you guys have a Mac or PC, you click either one of these. Uh, as I said, it just depends on which one you have. So once you download that, you're gonna have this little remote play installer, and basically what you're gonna do is double click this and open it and just agree to everything and install it. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it installed. So then what you're gonna wanna do is go into your applications and you're gonna wanna find this thing that says PS4 Remote Play and you're gonna wanna open this up. Now let's switch over to the PS4 and I'll show you guys what you have to do on there. Okay, so now on the PS4, what you're gonna do is go to the settings. Then you, once you're in the settings, you're gonna wanna go down to the remote uh, settings or whatever, the remote play connection settings. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that enable remote play is checked. And then you're gonna hit um, add device. You can either do it this way or if as long as you have it on, you should be good. So you can either add it manually like that if you have to or just leave it as long as you're on like that. So then uh, let's go back to the computer screen. Okay, so now this uh, will open up on your computer and you're just gonna wanna hit start and then basically what it's gonna do, as long as you have that remote play function or the, the box checked on the PlayStation, this is automatically gonna search for the PS4 on your network. So make sure that your PS4, whether it's ethernet cable or if it's on the Wi-Fi, it has to be on the same network as your computer and depending on how long or how good your internet is, sometimes it'll take a while to detect the PS4, but once it detects it, I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, so once it detects the PS4, it's gonna say registering right here, and it's just gonna go back and forth. It's gonna take a couple minutes or maybe longer depending on your internet connection and just how good your connection is, and depending on if you're using like a wireless connection or if you're on ethernet. Um, now, I recommend if you're setting this up and you want to like take your laptop to a different room and play, I re recommend that you have your laptop and PlayStation in the same room at first and as close as you can get to your internet as possible, uh, or your modem or your router, any of that, just as close as you can get. Um, but start off like in the same room and in the same area. So as you guys can see right there, I'm gonna turn on the sound so you guys can hear it, but bam, it's right there. Uh, you guys can see, um, basically what happened is my controller shut off. So basically what you have to do is you have to find a uh, micro USB cord. This came with the system. Um, it's a micro USB that actually charges, whatever charges your controller right here, this port, you wanna plug that USB into the computer. So once you have your micro USB, just plug it into the controller just like that and then plug the other end into your computer. Then it's gonna light up blue once it's plugged in and as you guys will see, I will show you guys on screen when you move it, just like that. It's a little bit laggy, that's why I'm gonna get into the pros and cons of this, but this is how you set it up just like that and now you are able to play your PlayStation um, from anywhere I, like in your house as long as you have like good connection and all that. Um, and you can actually just move upstairs. I tried this yesterday. Um, I took my laptop and brought it upstairs. I was playing uh, PS4 in my kitchen. Um, as long as you have to have this controller plugged in or if you um, sync up your controller Bluetooth to your computer, also you can do that, I believe. Um, but you have to have, if you don't have it like that, you have to have a cord plugged into the controller and into the um, computer. Okay guys, so the pros and cons of others, this is really cool. I think this is something that's like super cool. I think in the future that they will develop it even more and make it better. Um, but one of the few things that I noticed at first is that I know a lot of people that watch my channel obviously and maybe are seeing this are Call of Duty fans. Now, I tried playing COD on it and it is just, it's like, it's, it's too hard. There's no way. It's like almost playing if you guys have an Elgato and you have like one of the older ones where it, there's like a lag between um, when you have it plugged in the computer and the display on the Elgato program and on the actual monitor or TV, how it's a little delayed. It's almost like that, not as bad. But there's no way you can actually play an FPS game on there and like still do good. I mean, if you're playing in a bad lobby, I guess maybe, but it's just too slow of a connection, especially like if you're wireless and all that to play. Um, maybe for a sports game, maybe I think it's something cool. Obviously, it just came out. They can always update this, but I feel like it's too slow right now. Or maybe if your connection is like really good, maybe it's not. This is just with mine. I think I have about... 50 download and maybe around five upload. I'm not sure, that's kind of approximate. So maybe if you have really good connection, maybe you're able to play well, with my connection. Um, I'm not, I mean, I can play, but it's just, there's no way. There's too much like lag um, in between um, moving the controller and for the image on screen, just because of the fact it's all wireless and going over the network. And my next point of how this is not good um, is that it, it makes your internet super slow. If you're like about my internet or worse, 
Good luck trying to get this set up because it's just like it takes up so much bandwidth. Obviously, being able to stream your whole PlayStation gameplay to your computer wirelessly throughout your house or wherever you're at on the network, um, that's obviously going to take a lot of bandwidth. So, as I said, people that have better internet than me and have super good internet, let me know if you guys try this and if you can actually play like FPS games or how it is. The quality, I'd say, is probably between 480p and 720p, like on the actual program on the computer, so when you view it, even if you put it full screen. So, it's it's cool. I, th I like it's a feature, or I like how it's a feature that they added, and it's something that obviously can develop even more. But I feel like right now, it's just not something that you guys are gonna wanna do. If you wanna test it and try different games out, go ahead. But if you have really good internet, let me know if you guys try this, and uh, let me know how it works. But I feel like after they update it, and maybe some more, and do some more troubleshooting stuff with people's different problems, um, I think it'd be pretty cool. It's something cool, something that I never really expected them to do. I never heard about this until like a couple days ago before they actually, uh, before they announced the update. And I think it's something cool. I definitely think they can improve on it a lot. But as I said guys, let me know if you guys try this and let me know how it works for you. If you guys have any questions, I will be um, looking in the comments below answering any questions. If you guys want to see any more how-to videos with setting up different things or anything like that, gaming related, computer related, let me know in the comment section below and maybe I can help you guys out. Uh, with another video or just letting you guys know by responding to you guys in the comments But thank you guys so much for watching this video hit that like button if you guys did enjoy and if it helped you out but That is it for this video be sure to comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video I'm devious 38 and I'm out peace